Hey guys, this is TCV4 with the review of the Samsung Intensity 2 messaging phone from Verizon. And this phone features a full QWERTY keyboard that I find very spacious. It has like a raised textured style to it, so the keys are very easy to find. This phone is on a little bit of the thicker side. I don't know if you can tell from that or not, but... I'm sorry, I just dropped my it on the camera, but, um, that's it. Slide out format. There's the 1.3 megapixel camera with a, I guess you could say a self-portrait mirror, speaker, and uh, this is actually an infrared light. On the side, you have your USB charging port, your rockers for volume adjustment, your lanyard attachment, I guess you'd say, your lanyard you. Sorry, all these have like a little thing over them. 2.5 millimeter headphones jack for headsets and or music. This does support Bluetooth headsets so as well. So there you go. A microphone button, micro SD slot, and your camera button. And on the front here you have actually your, your end and your receiving calls, speakerphone, clear, and just menu keys here, your 10 digit keypad with star and other aerials and stuff. Over here you have your menu buttons for when you open it up into sliding mode. You can use these to navigate, sorry. There you go. You can use that to navigate and it has one touch text messaging right here. It's got a nice text and message button that brings you right to a message menu. There you go, new text message. This phone features a very nice layout, in my opinion, of buttons, and it's a nice slider. It makes a nice sound. It doesn't feel too flimsy. I mean, as you can see there, it just wiggles a little bit, but that's a slider. It's got this weird styled ooh, wow, I'm dropping this grip here. See it kind of curves. So that makes it really nice when you're holding it to go text. And here's just the sound of the keyboard. And there you can see it says. It's got a really nice sound to it. It's kind of like a rubbery. I don't know. It's just something Samsung's doing now. Uh, I just have a there's my personal background. Sorry, touch to focus. Um, otherwise, other as I noticed, this phone seems to it's pretty good call reception, call quality. Uh, very high volume speakerphone seems okay. But I mean, it's a great phone for like a teenager, obviously or something. But like myself, but it's got all your ring functions and overall, I think this is a great phone for the value. And as you can see, that's got like a textured back for grip. I think that's really nice when you're trying to hold the phone. I mean, I dropped this phone. I have dropped this phone in concrete. I don't know if you can see it. It's... Sorry. There you go. It's just kind of that right next to the top rocker. Other than that, though, this phone is great. That was my fault, but it still works fine. So it's got a nice chrome finish around the phone itself and it's kind of I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of a bar it's got a nice thing it's 2.6 inch display with illuminated keyboard keypad and one here too and sounds really nice it's pretty basic Verizon layout for messaging and such but other than that in my opinion is a great phone and I would recommend it it's got most of the features that which include like uh, sorry uh, it's got a music player, the just the standard thing. You're gonna need a, you can load it with a computer. And that was just a short clip of a song there, but it's got a music player. 
But as I said, it's only 25 millimeter headphones jack, so it's not necessarily the best. But Bluetooth headset compatible. Um, this does not do video on the camera, by the way, so that could be a bummer, I guess. So it's only picture and audio messaging. Well, obviously text too, but none of that. Um, it seems to be pretty good. It freezes sometimes. There's warning out there. I've had mine freeze probably five or six times. I guess it's just the way this phone's made, but that shouldn't make it bad. Just take out the battery, put it back in. Oh, by the way, it says take out the battery. You push kind of hard up on that, and then it's the battery. Samsung 1000 million hour standard battery. So, thanks for watching. This video is getting kind of long.